Hi, I'm Dave, and today we're talking about connecting rods. Hi, I'm Ron. One of the most common questions we get about connecting rods is, what's the difference between H-beam and I-beam rods, and on top of that, what are the advantages to each? So first, let's start by taking a look at an example of each type of connecting rod. Here we have a typical I-beam connecting rod. You can see it has a sort of concave side that runs the length of the rod, and then it has the raised edges. And if you were to cut that in half, you'd essentially have what looks like the letter I. Over here we have your typical H-beam connecting rod, and you can see these have uh, larger flat sides that run the length of the rod, and then there's a smaller center section that connects the two flat sides. And if you were to cut that in half, you'd have what would essentially be, or at least look like, the letter H. So what are the advantages to each type of rod? Well, first of all, you have to understand that the configuration of the beam is just one part of the equation. You also have to factor in things like rod material, length, and finish. But with all these things being equal, typically an I-beam connecting rod is going to be lighter in weight. Although I-beam connecting rods are typically used on stock applications, uh, the lighter weight also makes them desirable for high revving, high RPM applications where you want less weight on a reciprocating assembly. Uh, conversely, H-beam connecting rods are a little bit stiffer and rigid, and that makes them ideal for higher horsepower, high, higher torque applications where there's going to be more compressive forces. Again, this comparison only holds true if you're comparing rods with the uh, same material, finish, and length. So I mentioned that choosing the right rod material plays a huge part in selecting the proper connecting rods for your application. So I kind of want to take a look now at some of the materials that we have available. And in particular, we're going to look at aluminum, steel, billet, and titanium rods. Uh, starting with aluminum rods, uh, these are obviously a very lightweight alternative to choose, and they're great for high RPM, high revving applications just because of that light weight. However, they are a little bit more prone to stretching and fatigue than steel connecting rods. Uh, while steel connecting rods uh, won't stretch or fatigue as easily, uh, there is a weight factor involved when you choose steel connecting rods. They're going to be heavier than the aluminum rods, and that makes them less desirable if you're planning on running a higher RPM application. Um, on the top end of the spectrum, we have billet and titanium rods. They offer the best of both worlds, really. Uh, they have a lightweight, and they're also extremely strong. However, you're going to run into budget concerns when choosing those types of rods. Uh, they definitely run on the higher end of the, the price spectrum. Now, I want to go back and talk a little bit more about steel connecting rods, because there's a lot of different types of steel available, whether you're talking about the manufacturing process or the actual material, material used. So let's look at uh, a couple of the manufacturing processes first. Uh, you have cast and forged uh, connecting rods. And, and, and a cast connecting rod, essentially, they take molten steel and they pour it into a, a mold and then cool it down quickly, and that becomes a cast connecting rod. With a forged connecting rod, you're taking, essentially, a singular piece of metal and you're actually stamping a connecting rod out of that piece. And the forged connecting rod is typically much stronger than a cast connecting rod. A cast connecting rod can be a little bit, it's typically a little bit more brittle than, than the forged style. Uh, cast connecting rods are typically uh, ample for stock or mildly modified applications, whereas a forged connecting rod can handle a little bit more, more modification, a little bit more horsepower and torque. Uh, we also get a lot of questions about the numbers that you often see with uh, steel connecting rods or, or steel components in general. Uh, you might see a 5140 steel or a 4340 steel. People want to know what do these numbers really mean. And they, they just generally refer to the tensile strength of the steel. For example, a 5140 connecting rod is rated to handle uh, about 115,000 PSI. Whereas a 4340 connecting rod uh, can handle upwards of 145,000 psi. And that's why you often hear about 4340 uh, material referred to as aircraft grade. So with all the different connecting rod configurations and materials available, how do you know which one is right for your application? Well, there are a few things you're going to need to consider, including uh, the intended purpose of your vehicle, whether it's a street or race vehicle, uh, maximum RPMs you plan on running, uh, horsepower or torque level, and even your budget. Uh, so let's start by taking a look at a typical stock or mildly modified street application. 
In this case, a, a good set of cast or forged I-beam connecting rods will likely do the trick. However, if you're going to really start stepping up the modifications and start going with higher horsepower numbers, you're going to want to uh, consider stepping up to a good set of forged connecting rods for sure. And you may even want to look into a set of H-beam connecting rods because, again, uh, this type of connecting rod is a little bit more rigid and stiff and can handle the uh, higher compressive forces uh, generated by the extra horsepower and torque. Uh, for race applications or any uh, higher RPM applications, you're going to want to look at any way you can to reduce weight on your connecting rods. Uh, consequently, you're going to want to consider uh, I-beam type connecting rods because, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this type of connecting rod is typically a lighter, lighter weight than an H-beam connecting rod. You also want to look at uh, lighter weight materials including aluminum, uh, billet, or titanium. Again, you're going to be limited here by what your budget is. Uh, Obviously, if you've got any questions regarding what type of connecting rod you're going to need for your application, a Summit Racing uh, Tech Rep will be more than willing to help you out. Uh, now, if you have further questions about connecting rods or any other high performance related topic, feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Right, Rob? Absolutely. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow on Twitter at twitter.com slash summit racing or like summit racing on Facebook at facebook.com slash summit racing equipment.